good morning respected faculty members uh, 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 the study of uh, is clinical profile of tuberculosis meningitis in the children with a special reference to neuro imaging my name is dr achal rawal from second year bj medical uh, uh, second year bj medical student tb is the infection Okay. Uh, to study the incidence and the clinical feature of the tuberculosis meningitis in the indoor pediatric patient admitted at our hospital and the other is uh, observe the various neuroimaging findings in the tuberculosis meningitis patients uh, the study period was one year uh, the uh, study is retrospective observational study uh, all patient from age 1 to 12 years are included in the in this study uh, total uh, 52 patients are diagnosed with the tuberculosis meningitis in the patients with the prevalence of uh, 0.5 and incidence was 1.1 in these patients. Uh, there are equal number of male and female patients diagnosed uh, uh, in, the, in this study which is 26-26 out of 52. Uh, the, as the age advances the uh, number of Patients diagnosed uh, with the TBME is uh, more. The uh, most common group is uh, 6 to 12 years, followed by 16 in the 3, three to 5 years, and followed by 1 to 3 years. Uh, fever, convulsion, and the vomiting are the most common presentation in these children. The CNS sign, the most common signs are hypotonia, abnormal movements, and the uh, meningeal signs. There are more uh, 73 percent patients diagnosed with the anemia, uh, and ESR was elevated in 100 percent patients. In neuroimaging finding uh, with MRI and CT scan, uh, hydrocephalus is seen in uh, 40, uh, 48 patients, uh, followed by the uh, periventricular oozing seen in 37 patients and leptomeningeals enhancements is seen in 32 patients which are most common findings in this study. Uh, as the age advances the number of patients uh, with death, death ratio increases uh, this is most common in 6 to 12 years of age. To summarize my study uh, uh, overall prevalence is 0.5 with incidence incidence is 1.1 uh, the maximum number of the tuberculosis meningitis case were in children less than 5 years with toddlers age group uh, where 15 younger children are the most vulnerable for disseminated tb uh, most common presenting symptom is fever followed by convulsion vomiting hypotonia is found in the 75% of patients with meningeal irritation in 73% of patients and followed by the abnormal movement in the 57 percent of the patients raise icp is seen in 48 percent of the patients in the neuroimaging study of the patients the hydrocephalus is the most common finding seen in the 92.3 percent followed by the periventricular oozing and the leptomeningeal and the enhancement seen in 61.5 percent of the patients okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the neuroimaging of choice if you are suspecting uh -huh. tbm sir ct cd with contrast mri mri with contrast choose one I'm suspecting TBM, five-year-old child. Choose between CT, CT with contrast, MRI, MRI with contrast. MRI is the modality of the choice for the... I'm not, I'm not interested in contrast. And you choose one. Okay, you stick to MRI. Okay. What are the tests in CSF other than routine micro that you can diagnose TB, TBM? Other than routine micro, tests in CSF. Uh, Cobweb formulation. That's routine micro. Cobweb. How many MDRs you found? With some res resistance amongst the these? This study not put the. You have excluded uh, the resistance ones. Mm. How did you pick up resistance that you? that it is uh, your uh, children had abnormal movements was it abnormal movement or convulsion Sir, and which type of abnormal movements uh, ma'am uh, posturing 
posturing is posturing doesn't come is in, a, in an involuntary movement. movement. What are the types of abnormal movement do you know? When upper limb flickering or. Okay, done.